this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Um, today I'm going to show you how I'm going to dot the edges of this uh, coat rack hanger. We're uh, creating these. These will be new in my shop. And I'm going to show you. I thought I'd go ahead and do some dotting on the edges just for practicing. I will be using these three different acrylic um, pieces to do the dotting, the major dotting with. And then my little dotting tool here I will be using just to put a few little smaller dots around a few of the dots. There's a lot of dots going on. The uh, paint that I will be using today, and I have them already poured out, so that's <clears throat> why so I don't have the caps on, is the Multi-Surface Real Brown, the Folk Art Gold Enamel, multi-surface linen and multi-surface grass or cut grass fresh cut grass excuse me fresh cut fresh cut grass all right again bear with me on these I am fairly new to the trying to do these uh, mandala dots and this is not going to be a mandala but Anyways, just um, trying to do as many things as I can to get some practice. I'm going to start with the linen. And I'm just dipping it into the lid. And if I get any peaks, I'm trying to, to pull those off before I actually do the dotting. I'm just going to go straight down on the board. And then pull up. Set this aside. That's probably my biggest problem is having a place to set them aside so then keep using them and then I'm going to do basically the same thing in the real brown now whether or not you're supposed to do this I keep knocking the little peaks off when I get them and then I'm just going to go like this right here and I'm hoping you're getting this it's a bigger piece than what I'm used to working with so um, again there's a, a little piece like that I'm just going to pull it off like that and then Put it down, trying to get it as close to the next that center one as possible. The next one that I'm going to do is the next size down, and oh, it's actually the smallest of the three. I have a peak again. I'm just going to try to knock it off. I want to make sure that the, the bottom is actually covered as good as I can get it. And then I'm going to dot next to it. And then do the same on the other side of the real brown. All right, so I have those down. What I'm going to do to try to <coughs> level these out a little bit is just take one of my smaller dotting tools and then go back in and just try to smooth them out a little bit if they're if they're bumpy. You know, so they dry a little bit flatter. Still might not be completely smooth, but but that's fine. Alright, so then I'm going to just do some gold little dots right around the browns. And this is just meant to be a, just a really simple decoration. I can get crazier with it as I get more experience. But I thought it would just be pretty to add a little bit of color to them without actually painting a flower, which I'm so good at. <laughs> Everything in my life is a flower. All right, I'm just gonna leave it at like that. Now I could go on and do further dotting around the other ones, but I'm not going to do that. I just I like it just simple. And then I'm going to turn it and continue on with this design. Alright, 
and we'll continue on doing it to the next corner. Decided to do, do it here because there will be screws here because I thought originally about doing it in front of that and I thought, you know what, I'll just, I'll just do them right here. And that way the screws won't be in the way and you'll still be able to see them. Now, if you're someone who's good at doing these dots, if you have any suggestions for me, feel free to make a comment below. Um, I have had somebody ask me to do Mandela of wine glasses, and I do plan on doing that, but since I've never actually done one, I need a little bit of time to um, create one and, and see how it goes before I actually do a video. I <laughs> thought that might be a good idea. Alright, so these I'm just going to smooth out a little bit once again. And the brown ones, for some reason, oops, ah, that was a boo-boo. They seem to do really well. I'm not sure why. But they do. So let's go on with the dots. And I'm just pretty much just doing six little dots right here. And again, I'm just randomly doing this. I'm not measuring or anything like that, as you can tell. pretty much how I roll. You see how cute that is? It just gives it a little bit. Now you could, I'm having a hard time doing dots on top of dots, so I don't know if that's something where people, when they're doing videos, they're actually really letting them dry a little bit, but I kind of feel like they, they might need to be a little bit drier on the top than what I'm doing because I can never get it to stick, is the reason I'm saying that. So if you are a Mandela painter and have any suggestions, because I feel like when I'm watching videos, I feel like they're doing it all right at the same time. There might be time lapses and I'm just not aware of it. But this is a simple project and I feel like, with anything I'm trying to teach myself, I try to do a little bit of it as often as I can so that I'm getting the experience almost on a daily basis like when I do my watercolor paintings they're kind of a stress reliever for me so a lot of times while I'm babysitting grandchildren I am I'll pull that out while they're doing a craft and paint while they're painting while they're playing Fido or whatnot, and then that just gives me a little bit of a break. Just like doing some tangled designs, that's what those are meant to be, is to give you, give you some, uh, just some rest and relaxation from the normal stresses of the day. So like on this one, if I if I let the, the circles dry, I could come back in and do some, some maybe some uh, painting and another color of dot on top. But again, unless I get some information on what the best way to add the dots if the paint is wet, like wet on wet, I'm probably not doing something right. Just it, like a quick and simple this is. I gotta go slowly too. I tend to rush myself. So I got a little blurb over there, which I'll get up. I to get off here. Sorry, my head's in the way. I'm just banged it with my head. Sorry about that. Alright, I'll worry about that here in a minute. Alright, so again, taking the tool. Oops, I didn't do that over here on these. Taking the tool and just smoothing these down. 
ones seem to be doing better today for some reason. It's not always the case, but for me, but they do. They seem to be behaving better. And I'll get that, that loop here in a minute. Go ahead and get this done for you. <clears throat> and this is something that's going to be new in my shop. We made a couple, just some stained ones with the hooks, and they're just so nice. I hang my grandchildren's coats up on it and get them away from my dog, my healer, that I talk about. Oops, I just broke that. That's nice. Um, get my coats up off the countertops because my dog likes to steal that in their shoes. So that way it's um, away from her. Out of sight, out of mind. All right, so here we go. I think I need to smooth these down a little bit more. I'm not real happy with those for some reason. Uh, we'll see what happens when they dry. All right, so here we go. I've got that and that. And it's pretty. It was painted with the Waverly chalk paint. And then I sanded it. And then we added the gold hooks. And there you go. All right, if you like my video, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. If you like my coat rack, I will be listing it here soon, as soon as um, it gets dry and it'll be ready to, to post on my, my website. And make sure you share my videos with your friends. Help me build my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on the button below, click the bell beside it so you get notifications whenever I post a new video. And until the next one, have a good day.